Hello, as you know, my name is Carrington the Genius, and this will be the first tutorial in creating a sentiment analysis project with ML.NET, and this is under the series of tutorials Machine Learning in C Sharp. But I know the problem many people are having is that they rush to start building projects in Visual Studio or whatever application they use without understanding some basics of what they want to do. So if you want to build uh, some project for machine learning, whether you are using TensorFlow or Python, try to spend some time to understand what you want to do. What is this project all about? What is this data all about? What is this, is this project going to do? And that will help you to be able to complete this project. So let's just rush to the system, to the keyboard and the mouse and just start building something. And after some time we give up. And that is the problem of many programmers. They end up giving up because they don't take some time to do some preview of what they want to do. So that is what we want to do now. Let's understand what is sentiment analysis. What do we really want to do in a few minutes? And then we actually go to Visual Studio to develop uh, this project or this model to carry out sentiment analysis. Let's do a simple quiz and that will help us to know what direction we want to go. This is the content. This is what we are going to do. We are going to follow this step by step with no step skips. And, and we are going to take it bit by bit. So tutorials I'm going to make might be maybe less than 10 minutes for each lesson so that you'll be able to follow it easily. All right, so let's look at the first part. What is sentiment analysis? And sentiment analysis is a way to classify comments into categories like positive, negative, or neutral. So this will help uh, maybe um, uh, this will help uh, web administrators to be able to filter off maybe negative comments and be able to respond to negative comments or requests by their users. So let's take some examples. Let's take this for this one. Your code looks great. Do you think it's a positive comment or negative comment or neutral? For me, I think it's a positive one because uh, it's, 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 it's quite clear. Let's look at this one. Stop posting useless comments to my blog. <laughs> so this one is also a giveaway. I think it's a negative comment. Kind on the genius makes really good tutorials. I think it's a positive comment because it's encouraging for me. If you make this comment in, in my video, uh, under the under this video after watching it, you make this comment, then for me it's going to be encouraging and uh, it's going to be a positive comment. Then I'm looking for a data set to use. This is a typo. To use for my assignments. Will it be positive or negative? Remember, we also have a neutral class. So for me, I think this is neutral. It's nice, neither positive nor negative. What of this one? I hate it when people dislike my lessons. Well, this is a discouraging comment, so it's negative from my view. What of this one that says your lessons on machine learning are very informative? Well done. Is also a positive comment. And the last one that says, I feel motivated if you subscribe to my channel. I'm not saying everybody should. Well, if you subscribe, that would be encouraging. But this is sentiment analysis. I feel motivated if you subscribe. So if you subscribe, for sure, it will encourage me to make more lessons for you. So if we have a million of this comment, we can be assigning a sentiment in this way. We want the system to look at this comment, understand it, and be able to classify it as positive or negative or neutral. So this is what we want to do. So the first thing I want to do now, I'm going to put out this uh, PowerPoint and I'm going to open the data site containing all these comments, uh, hundreds of comments that we are going to feed into the model we are going to create, and it will analyze it and uh, be able to tell us which ones are positive, which ones are negative, and uh, which ones are neutral. And before I show you the data set, I would like to uh, go back to previous presentation. So in my first uh, lesson, I discussed ML.net and we actually started working on a simple project where we created a model to make prediction. So it's also a classification uh, machine learning model we created. So if you've not gone through tutorial one to three, please go through tutorial one to three. This is tutorial four. 
and we actually will start working uh, with Visual Studio in the next tutorial, which is in tutorial 5. So uh, you still have some time to go through uh, tutorials 1 to 3, and then we will continue from there. So let me put away this PowerPoint, and then I'm going to show you the data containing uh, all the comments that we are going to analyze. So and I'm also going to tell you where to get this data from. So this is the data. Let me open this one. So I'm going to open it with uh, me open with Firefox for now. Take all these. So you are going to see this comment and you'll be able to see if they are positive or negative or neutral. So you can see the lines of comment. You are cool. You seem like a really cool guy. You see. So, for instance, uh, dude, you are rude. Upload that car picture back or else. Grow up. You are a biased child. I saw it before watching the episode. Oh well. Today was the worst day ever. I'm so happy. So these are comments people actually make, and we want to feed all these comments in the system, or we want to attach our system to existing uh, maybe uh, our websites or web or blogs, and then it will be able to filter it to tell us which one is which. So uh, you've seen the data, and the next thing is I'm going to tell you to use Visual Studio, Visual Studio 2017, if you have it, but if not, download it. We are not going to do anything right now with Visual Studio. We are going to continue in lesson five in the next tutorial, where we are actually going to set up this project and actually start working on the sentiment analysis project. I remain kind on the genius and I would also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if it's been helpful for you, like this video. And also, you can feel free to share it with your friends who may like to learn machine learning. Remember, if you have any subject or any topic in programming, databases, machine learning, uh, feel free to let me know this is what you want to learn and I'll be happy to teach you uh, easily without having to pay anything. Thank you for viewing.